What's going on YouTube? It's Ayo Richie here and I'm back with another video. It's been a while since I uploaded something like really informative, very helpful for Leo players. I have tried to do like the counter guides and stuff. That's, you know, it's a bit whatever to be honest because it, it will be different depending on the level of play and things like that. And obviously competition and stuff. Some Lars players at lower ranks won't be using some of the stuff that I even mentioned. The Eddie Gordo players, uh, there's still so much things to find out about Eddie. But other than that, the title of this video is going to be Are we playing Tekken 8 yet? And the reason is I'm playing against some players, obviously God of Destruction rank. So this is the highest rank in the game. You know, I'm playing against very, very strong players and they're saying, oh, I'm still playing Tekken 7 and stuff like that. That's, I don't know, it hasn't really been eating at me, but it's like, you know, I've maybe I really need to like rethink my game plan and, you know, figure out what it is that makes Leo super strong in Tekken 8. I think the main thing that we can do is Think about the frame data now and um, the situations that we utilize, uh, we should try and play around things like power crushes, heat burst, all of that. I think that is the main thing first and foremost when it comes to dealing with Tekken 8 stuff. And I feel like Leo, you know, has the options to do so for sure. Um, straight away, something that I haven't been utilizing is K and K4 into crouch dash. Like at first, obviously I was like, oh my days, like, yo, this is new. I started using it. And then as gameplay went on and on and on, you know, eventually I just stopped using it. I don't know why, but it kind of just fizzled out of my gameplay. So there's that. Also 424 without crouch dash. For some reason, whenever I do 424, which is this move, I always do crouch dash. I don't know why. I have a crouch dash, or if I'm in lightning glare, I'll do 4243. So I think it takes like it really takes you to just sit down and you know look at the tools your character has and just kind of rethink certain strategies that you go for because playing Tekken 7 um, you know it's things like okay I'm gonna use QCF1 while standing 4 QCF1 maybe full crouch sweep QCF1 size to 1 plus 2 and the problem with playing like this is that like heat burst is going to counter basically everything in that scenario and then I now have to deal with my opponent having heat so the game has already just become harder because I just tried to do a simple, you know, something very simple, right? So if I change that and like try and enforce more like offensive, you know, mix ups, like tr try my best to, you know, do forward four as much as possible because the K and K four is homing. So Like, they, there's no heat burst or power crush that is getting you out of this. This is a free county at launch. I don't know why heat burst just beat that. Making videos is funny. Making videos is funny. I can't lie. What is Tekken 8? <laughs> lads, lads, lads. I know this is mid video, but I just want to say, what is Tekken 8? I just want to know. I just want to know. I was trying to just portray a point there. And, of course, magically, the heat burst makes the KK4 whiff. Like, what? Um, yeah, man, this is an interesting game, man. But, like, the point is, like, you want to play in situations for the most part where you can't get mashed out and you can't get power crushed. Like, after a forward four, obviously, you know, people can panic, they can jab, they can uh, hop kick, they can do other things, but they cannot sidestep. That is the biggest thing about this. They can't sidestep the KK4 either side, doesn't matter who they play. I don't think Lily can, I don't think anyone can. So, if you do this enough, you know, obviously eventually they're going to want to do like sidestep low parry or just something to beat the hop kick and then also low parry the low. So, there's other options. Like, uh, there's forward 4 K and K1. Now, obviously this has counterplay because it's a high and you can obviously duck and launch. But then also you don't need to do another option as well. Like, you can just do forward 4 and then nothing. So, when you kind of see what your opponent is going for, that is when you really think, okay, you know what? Cool. Let me go for a different option. Let me go for a delayed KNK2 or an immediate KNK2. Because that can catch people off guard. Especially if the forward four hits as well. But like a lot of people will try and step after the forward four and then the KNK2 hits them. But you have to be careful because obviously, you know, the string has sorry, the stance is counterplay, right? But this there is no reason for you to not just keep using this. Like, honestly, even if they low parry, because low parries have been nerfed, obviously they can use heat and obviously, you know, get more damage, you know, and more wall carry, but like, okay, cool. 
it's still not going to be, you know, Tekken 7 low parry damage. You should get what I mean. So, KNK4 is crazy. And then the way people defend against it is that they duck and then they try to stand up, you know, because they don't want to get randomly hot kicked. Sorry, KNK freed. So then you do forward four into the sweep. And I'm telling you right now, this hits so much in this game. It's unbelievable. 24 frames, but like people don't really react to it. And if they do hard block it, KNK1 plus two. Especially if you've got them at the wall. If you've got them at the wall, KNK1 two. And especially if you have them at this angle where they can't size them. So let me just do this now. I'm gonna try and let's see. Okay, so yeah, so there's no step in here. And then what plus 21? Okay, I have a wall splat or plus 21, and then you know you can basically run in and do what you like. Let's be honest, plus 21 is pretty crazy. So yeah, so there's that. Let's talk about 424 quickly. So 424. Let's imagine now we've got heat available, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, not heat, but like lightning glare. I just want to do it for the lightning glare. So I'll wait for it to time up. <clears throat> Let me not do that. That's very long. Um, player heat. Let me just key charge. I think that's the easiest way. Okay. So key charge. 424, back 312. Okay. I'm just seeing if I can back that's just Okay, so this might be a Leo specific thing. I'm gonna switch characters quickly. We're gonna pick like Kazuya or someone. Um so I know Leo's hurt box is very strange, so it might whiff on Leo but it might not whiff on other characters, so it's good to show this just in case. But Okay. Let's see. Okay, so they can back that shit. But is that the scenario that people are going to go for is the question. Are they going to back that shit in this scenario? Because it's definitely not the easiest thing to do. It kind of feels like trying to back dash uh, Eddie's relax free when it hits. Okay, so let's... Let's take this by the wall instead. So... Alright, so 4 2 4 hits at the wall. Um, back 3 2. Obviously, you can do 4 2 4. Forward 2 4 3 to get a wall slat. Obviously, if you have uh, Lightning Glare available, everyone knows that. But the point I'm trying to get across is that, like, we're trying to counter buttons in Tekken 8. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stop you from, you know, power crushing and doing all this stuff, playing around that stuff. So. Bro, you can't eat. wait. Oh, okay, so it's rage art that you can't do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So plus seven, 13 frames to play around with. This is why this game is strange though, because I genuinely believe yeah, characters that have like 13 frame heat engages. I don't know, like, I can't stress it enough here, yeah, but like the damage they get for punishing things with their 13 frame heat engager is ridiculous. Like, it's actually absurd. Like, you look at Feng, you look at Xiaoyu. Xiaoyu, I don't know what it is, maybe back 4-1, uh, some kick into a punch, and then a heat dash, and then they get down back 1 guaranteed, and they do like 50-odd, 60-odd damage, just in the open, no wall splat, nothing. So, like, things like that, you got to think of it like this, like, if Feng does a shoulder into FF3, that is literally 13 frame punish into wall combo damage, you know, in Tekken 7 for most characters so just doing that in the open for free is crazy like it is literally crazy like fair enough it takes away the heat and whatever but like it's just kind of mad and obviously uh, this video isn't obviously to rant or anything like that but like i'm just trying to really understand like what it is that would make leo like what what would it look like for me to be playing tekken 8 that's what i'm trying to understand because i feel like leo is a character fair enough 13 frame punish is great you know wall splats whatever but um, 
it's not like on the grand scheme of things like it's just not adding up to like the some of the top tier characters i know dragon doesn't have you know 13 frame wall splat or anything like that but like i don't know man when you when you look at the some of the tools that, that characters have it's pretty crazy maybe i'm not utilizing lightning glare enough maybe that's what it is maybe things like i guess forward forward two charge uh, i could probably be using it a little bit more even though it's a lot more linear in this game uh qcf one plus two maybe but that's launch punishable so that's another thing i think block punishment is too important in this game i think if you let any punishes go and also let me just quickly like give an example so what does kazuya have kazuya i don't think he has 13 frame lows really let me just check real quick Of, okay 14 okay so let's use 14 as an example yeah i'm not gonna switch because that'll probably take up a lot of time but like in this scenario yeah uh i don't know off habit or just i don't know like i will tend to punish with a while standing for one plus two and obviously that is not it's not a good decision it's not a good thing to do you you go into heat early probably start of the game they've gone for a low and if you don't play your heat right you're now playing against an opponent that has heat available to them and you know they can kind of decide how they want to play out the rest of the match because you don't have heat you can't heat burst none of that is available anymore so i think the fact that leo does have this lightning glare mechanic available after punishes like let's take a look so if i punish you up forward one two i can hold one plus two and get a uh, lightning glare if I do whilst in the 1 plus 2 and hold 1 plus 2, I can get Lightning Glare. So if you ever miss 13 frame punishes like this, that is obviously, it's huge. It's literally huge because you got to think, okay, cool. Um, I'm doing up, one, up forward 1, 2 into Lightning Glare. Now I have all of these moves available. If this lands, I'm getting, look at the damage. 94 damage, like that's just ridiculous after a punish. So punish, dash up, 4, 2, 4, 3. And if it lands, I'm getting, let's let's just say 130 damage altogether or 125 damage altogether. If I obviously want to mix that and they, they think I'm going to go for that, I have the back free one uh, series as well. I have the hell sweeps uh, series that does 39 damage. Like, I think getting into lightning glare through punishes and then popping them off as early as you can before going into heat is very pivotal. I'm not going to lie. Because I feel like, um, let's say for instance, you know what, let me do Leo versus Leo again. I don't really need Kazuya. So let's just look at some scenarios quickly. So I'm playing against Leo now, yeah? I'm playing against Leo. Okay. So let me, okay, so I'm going to do up, forward, one, two, lightning glare. I'm going to dash up, forward, two, four, three, block, one. Okay. Let me just see what this looks like. So let's move away from the wall. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to get hit by it. <clears throat> okay, so... Is this how I want it to be? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, sick. Okay, so my opponent will deal with this by going for like a heat burst or something, right? Which is cool. That's cool. Like, whatever. But um, when they heat burst, uh, if I don't have my heat burst available here, you know, the situation is a bit awkward for me now. Because they've just done their get off me tool and now my get off me tool is 1 plus 2. And, you know, this is not great. Like, I don't want to just throw this out, get punished and then potentially you know, heat mix-ups after after getting punished, you know, for uh, doing their 1 plus 2 power crush. So, the power crush option there is a lot more riskier. So, obviously, you need to, like, punish better and avoid going for whilst in the 4 1 plus 2 because, fair enough, you have heat, but you don't have that, you know, get off me for if you get hit or if, you know, the opponent gains some momentum. You know, the heat isn't just going to automatically stop you from getting hit basically because you know the heat burst ain't available no more so i do think if you're punishing with whilst in four one plus two on every low 
you know, you're basically putting yourself at a high risk, you know, long term. Short term, you know, if, if it works out, it works out. But like, you're kind of banking on these heat moves to, 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 to land, right? So you're going to be fishing with down back two, which is giving away your turn if you don't let the string rip. Uh, back to one plus two, you can kind of just throw out like Lily players and whatever if your opponent has a parry, then it becomes a bit riskier. Um, you know, you have the Hell Sweep available if they don't want to duck. Um, if back one, one plus two lands, you basically get a free heat, um, heat dash from the Power Crush. So, I mean, cool, like heat is great, but managing the heat is the most important thing, and getting the right punishes on these attacks is super important as well. Like, I really need to get it out of my system just punishing with Arsenal in 4 1 plus 2. Like, I genuinely need to. Unless I'm already in heat. If I'm already in heat, then cool in it. Like, let me just sh showcase a scenario quickly. You've, always, you've seen it on my channel before, for sure. You've definitely seen the combo on my channel before. But, like, cool. If I'm in heat. You know, that, that that right there is, you know, justifiable, right? That's justifiable. But the initial 26 damage for the punish and then not having a get off me, you know, heat burst, it's just not worth it. It really just isn't worth it. So, yeah, I'm really trying to, like, understand what I need to do to be playing Tekken 8. So, yeah, I'm glad that people have said this. I'm glad that people have, you know, kind of made this clear to me that, you know... I, they feel like I'm playing Tekken 7 still and stuff like that. But yeah, man, I mean, it's it's help, It's going to help me because, you know, I really need to just sit down with my character and just think about what I'm not doing right, what I am doing right, and just try and find, you know, the balance, find, find what works, you know. So I hope you like enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this gives you a lot of information. I hope this isn't just me waffling. <laughs> uh, and yeah, man, share this video, you know, Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. I want to get the YouTube stuff really going and, you know, kicking because uh, I'm not going to lie, like, the, you know, playing ranked at the highest rank and stuff is a little bit, it's a little bit jarring. I'm not going to lie, I can't just really sit down and do it at the moment because the game is quite stressful. So, you know, that's just me talking on a, on a human level there. Like, you know, the game is very stressful at the minute. You know, we do have balance patches incoming, so things will change. But um, other than that, listen, let me know what you lot are thinking about the game. Let me know if you're enjoying the game, like what's going on. Um, yeah, man, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you in the comment section. Take it easy, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video and peace.